Welcome to another episode of Freeloader. Today's game is Gems of War. Uh, it's by Infinite Interactive. Um, they made Puzzle Quest, Marvel Puzzle Quest, Puzzle Kingdoms, a couple other kind of related games. They're pretty good at match three games. I mean, a little uninspired at this point. They're all kind of the same, but uh, you get the idea. This one's free to play. You can play it on both Steam uh, or via Steam on PC. And then on mobile devices, currently only on iOS, they say they're making a port for Android, but hasn't shown up yet. Uh, right away, you'll start seeing some of the hallmarks of a free-to-play game. Like daily gold income, uh, guilds that just kind of trickle in resources. It's pretty much what you would expect. So let's just jump straight into a battle. Let's do a White Helm challenge. Can I afford... A higher difficulty conquest? Yeah, easy. Nice! Four of a kind in skulls right off the bat? Who are these people? A mana surge. Okay, dangerous things here are the flame cannon. Because he does damage to everyone, he's gonna damage my paladin, and which reduces my paladin's output. The alchemist. Uh, makes a lot of yellow, which will power up both of the cannons. This one does 8 damage split. It can be really dangerous, but because of the randomness, it's less scary. Um, the sniper just has so little health and they put him up top that I'm going to kill him right here with this match and not ever think again. So, out of the way. So the synergy here is the hero just does red mana for damage. Paladin deals dam 4 damage plus however much armor he has, which can get to be, starts at 12, can quickly get up into 20 area, which is enough damage to kill, as you can see, normal amounts of health. The Shaman creates extra green gems, and the Templar gives shields and turns red gems into green gems. So now I'm trying to match blue and brown, fill up my paladin, be good to go. Mm -hmm. Fill up the, the Templar. The paladin got hit there, but he's still doing alright. I haven't buffed his armor yet, so I think I'm still good. Um, I don't see any blue or brown matches. Green would be the next best, I guess. This actually might be a good time to use the axe to get out of the way. I'm not missing out on any big matches, so we'll be fine. This board is pretty poor overall. Not a lot of matches I want. Oh, really? RNG. Such a fickle mistress. Mana surge. Mana surge. Okay, so if I take this, the danger is if a skull appears in either of these top two slots after this refills, he'll get a skull match. Um, if it appears here in this third slot, I'm safe. And if there are no skulls, I'm also safe from that. But the risk is high. Oh, okay. It's worth taking into account. Oh, man. So many skulls, so little time. Uh, okay, so I can't think of any clever ways. Oh, here we go. So this is, cr this is crazy. I love this stuff. Man. Get all of them. So he's charged again. I think I actually might be able to kill him. Mana surge. Mana surge. There, 
right, this will do it. So I can use this. Everyone gets armor. Get a bunch of mana out of it. Get some more four of a kinds. Okay, he has 16 health. I'm gonna hit for 17. So as soon as the four of a kinds are gone, I can just win the match. Mana surge. Anything left? Mana surge. Okay. So yeah, challenges are a great level way to earn souls. Up. And I got the level up there. So level up just occurs every once in a while. You see them all the time when you're low levels. So this one didn't give me any new stats, because stats are meaningful, so increasing them even by one is a big deal. But it always gives you a new one, like a new um, selection here. So I can see what my masteries currently are and how much I've increased them. I know red is pretty low, so I'll raise that. Maybe I'll even get a new red weapon out of this. May nope, not today. I'm just gonna toss me to do a story mission here. Destroy the warlocks. Your do I have enough money for this? Guide my power. Yes, barely. Okay, so I've lost this one the last time I tried it. Uh, one soul short. Uh, so should be a good fight. One more time. One more time. Because I've lost to this team an embarrassing number of times. Because uh, I think it's three losses total now. Okay. This seemed like a solid first go. The red doesn't help me too much. I really want browns, purples, and blues. I'm just not seeing them. I got some gold options. Gold and green aren't bad. Really? <laughs> uh, uh, that is bullshit. It's a load of crap. I'm not saying the AI is cheating, but saying the AI is much better at this. I Oh man, more four of a kinds. This is going to be a much shorter match than the last one. Let's get this also. <laughs> yeah, and no four of a kinds for me. Set him up with nice four of a kinds. Really? They just it's like, hey, would you like skull matches? And he goes, Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Okay, so these two work as a pair. I really need this guy to get my my game rolling. Mana surge. Okay, let's see what we've got. So this guy is really the guy who punishes me if he ever gets charged. So I'm going to try to take him out early. Create a bunch of greens. Benefit from them. Oh, looks like I'm not going to get a second turn this time, but tons of green. So this guy turns reds into greens. He gives me a bunch of armor. Mana surge. Man, and again.
again where I have to choose between two skulls. And if he hits me with either one of these skulls, this guy does less damage. So right now he'll do 18 damage. If he gets hit for 6, then he'll only do 12 damage. This guy hits for 7, this guy hits for 6. Let's just... It did the two turns thing again. Well, I'm not going to turn that down. some fight left in me. Almost have this guy charged. Mana surge. Should let me hit pretty hard. have the skulls. Just hits too hard. And I think I'd almost given up on this game and now I'm really really doing well. I think I got him on this next turn. Man that RNG turned around really quick. Okay. Just throw some more green on the board. This guy's already charged. He'll hit for 12. It's not quite enough. I need to use this but I don't currently have a four of a kind that I'll hook up. But maybe with more green. Yeah, so this one here will do it. And this here. A holy shield to protect us. Mana surge. Okay, now we stick around and we match any four of a kinds that showed up, which actually looks like none. I'll hit. 17 against a 16 health character. Victory! Oh man. Turnaround. Glad I got that one recorded. Okay, so the running storyline here is that the dragon has some treasure buried in a dwarven cave, and he's going back in to try to get it. You've joined the, with the dragon to try to reclaim the treasure. Uh, I guess the treasure included an old god locked away in a prison. Um, in the meantime, necromancers have, of course, broken in, dwarves and necromancers, to steal the loot and have apparently been corrupted by the old god. Not a super original storyline. But, yeah, it, it works as far as story. So that's the Kaziel story. Each one of these locations has its own story. You start with Broken Spire, but... After that, you can pay money to unlock them in any order. Each one's more expensive than the last, but your order doesn't matter. Um, the structure of the game overall is that you have between the quests, which are the storyline, challenges, which are generic versions of those storyline battles. So I come in here, the challenge for fireworks might be the one I just did. Um, actually, maybe. Uh, it works kind of like that, though, where you can, if you really like that battle, you can do it over again. The real result, though, is that doing the challenges um, as they get harder difficulties, uh, gives you more souls, and it's one of your main ways of getting souls. Souls used to upgrade your troops. So, those two options are both kind of the same. You versus your, your pre-chosen challenge of NPC characters. Invade and defend allow you to then attack other players. That Again, it's you against the AI controlling their defend deck. So this is going to take half of, this is what I could earn, 300, 722, which means it's going to take, um, you know, it's 361 gold to challenge it. I only have 108, so I'm not going to be able to do that. 
Um, gold earned daily. I think I earned something like 1500 a day. I just spent a lot of it already today. Did not plan ahead. And defending is only an option after you've been invaded, and it allows you to attack that same person to regain what you lost. As far as I'm aware, like, I don't know if people actually lose gold or if it's just the AI losing for you. Um, yeah, so okay. So my home base is currently Broken Spire. And you can see I have the defender's option here. So I can choose which deck defends me. So if I decide I liked a different one better as defenders, it's more annoying or whatever. I can choose, you know, a different set. I haven't set up most of mine. Like, okay, I like this one, the Proud Banner. Um, I think it's just randomly generated troops of what I have. Yeah, from that faction. So most of these are just random. Here, this one, the Dwarven Banner. I've tried to set this one up before. This is the Acolyte who creates brown gems. The the worm it uses brown magic to create more brown gems. Um, it's It kind of works. The synergy here isn't particularly strong. My main go-to is the, uh, the Holy Banner of Whitehelm, which gives armor to these two troops. This guy does more damage based on armor, so it's a solid overall lineup. The troop list is pretty extensive. Um, even if I, if I turn on the troops I don't have, I'm missing some of the like legendaries of each group, like Shegra. Uh, but lots of heroes to choose through. You're going to choose you know, any four of these. So you can choose to not use your main hero if you want. Um, oh, the hero is pretty cool. You get to choose, you know, you chose your your name when you went in, but uh, on the fly you can choose your, your race, change it around. If you want to be, you know, a snake or a lion or a wolf, male, female, whatever you want, doesn't make a difference. Um, the weapon actually does matter though, you unlock these as you play, you level up, gain masteries, that allows you to unlock new weapons. So of these, I want to do red mana because none of my other troops use it. And so the Warrior's Axe has been a good choice. It's pretty average. You unlock it pretty early. There are better options. Um, but my red mastery is so low that I haven't unlocked many weapons. You have an option to increase masteries every time you level up. It chooses two at random and then allows you to pick one to level up. Uh, mana Surge is a percent chance that matching gems gives you double the mana. Yeah. Um, so you want to always just to choose the gems you're going to use more often. Which means I'm going to choose the gems that my cards use and not the one that my hero's weapon uses. Which means I'm not going to unlock as many weapons. It's kind of a problem all around. But I, I'll increase for head because it's the furthest behind at this point. Uh, levels are starting to get slow though. Um, apart from that, the other interesting game mode that I definitely don't have enough money for is the arena. And so this is a thousand gold in and it's draft style. So they give you an option of four troops, you pick one, and then you repeat that for all four of your troops. I think you use your hero in three drafted troops. And then depending on how many consecutive wins you get before you collect three losses, you work your way up the ladder. Uh, it's all right. I like playing with the troops that I've invested in and leveled up and the cards I've earned, rather than just random ones. Uh, it is a great way to get gems though. So overall, uh, I've, been pl I've been playing Gems of War up to I'm level 34 now, so on and off over the last month or so, maybe even two months since I started, it's there's not a lot here. You've seen all the major mechanics, uh, except for the draft in the arena, there's nothing new or surprising in here, and even that draft is just you're playing with cards that aren't your primary cards. Um, if you like match three games, if this is kind of your thing, like it's a solid choice and it's free, so there's not really that much to it. There is a cash shop. The main thing you'd buy in here, you can save yourself if you run low on uh, like keys for unlocking better cards. These seem to be an like you're still limited by the random number generator, so you may or may not get what you want with the magic keys. Um, gold, you get on a daily basis. Uh, if you're smart and ration out your gold and don't play in long spurts, you're not going to run out. And even if you do play in long spurts, as long as you do plenty of PvP and are reasonably good at it, you'll like you have to hit a better than 50% win rate you will earn money back, like you'll make pretty good money. The main thing to buy is costumes. So I currently have the spider armor, uh, which gives gold and souls, and it just seems to be a solid go overall. There's two slightly better ones I could get. Um, I would definitely take either one of these, given the option. Um, souls are kind of the thing that limits my, my character or card growth. 
but gold is all around good and can buy stuff for your guild, so that's pretty good. Uh, rewards you get by ranking in PvP and then playing daily, and they have different events that go on monthly, and you can use your, your souls to buy stuff in the shop. Overall, yes, you can buy stuff. Yes, you can spend real money to get gems. Um, you could drop $100 on this game if you wanted to, but I really don't think there's much need. If you can get in a guild with uh, the cap of near 30 people, it takes a while to unlock that many like rank slots, in member slots in your guild. But once you can get that, completing tasks, you just throw money into this, which is where my money went earlier today. Throw money into your guild stuff and everyone gets these rewards. So once 22,000 gold has been donated to sorcery, everyone, all 30 members of the guild get 100 souls. Um, I need souls, that's awesome. Also, sometimes you get gems and through this is how I got my spider armor for 250 gems. So essentially my guild completed this or similar tasks 25 times. Um, if you can get 30 reasonably active people, you're good to go. That's all there really is to it. So overall, novelty, great for a weekend. You might not want to stick with it. There isn't a whole lot of depth here. Some of the card combinations are a lot of fun to play. Uh, some of them are a little broken and need to be patched right now. The one I'm using right now I don't think is broken, but the Templar giving armor is very strong, and I expect that to be toned down. Um, on a monthly basis, like in the longer term, yeah, there's some fun here. Your mileage may vary. This has been another episode of Freeloader. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions on my next game, please respond either in the comments section below or on Twitter, at RoboTankGaming. Thanks.